Yeah, so today we're going to tackle the topic on tachometry and that is a civil and engineering course survey module 3. So the table below shows observation taken with the tachometer having constant 100 and 0 from point P to point S and T. The horizontal distances are ST was measured as 160 meters assuming the ground to be plain in triangle PTS the reduced level of point P to be 1000 meters above datum and the height of instrument at P to be 1.5 meters calculate the horizontal and vertical distances P and T, PS, the reduced levels of point P, T and S, deducing the difference in levels between them, and lastly the area of the triangle PTS and the horizontal angle at P. On the horizontal angle at P. Uh, so first of all we are going to look at the table. Uh, we can see from session P to S and P to T we have the lower readings, the middle and the top readings. Then the lastly we have the vertical readings. So the values of the lower readings are as follows. So those are the observations so the solution first of all we find the horizontal distances pt and ps uh, using the tachometric formula d is equals to ks cos squared theta so k is a constant 100 s is the difference between the top and the lower readings then times cos squared 6 degrees 36 minutes. So we get that's the answer. And then for the same, for the second, so for PS, we do the same using the formula. And then there's something you need to remember in the calculator. You first do the cos. 4 degrees 24 minutes and then you square the answer so we go to the vertical distances that is v is equals to a half ks sine theta 2 so that is we multiply the angle by 2 so a half 100 times s which is the difference between the top study reading and the bottom study reading times sin 6 so we do the same for ps and we remember so the sign 4 degrees 24 minutes we find it and then uh, multiply it by 2 so we get our answer 11.35 uh, from there we go and calculate our reduced levels of T and S mm, from our diagram so the instrument was placed at the negative values that means the instrument faced down and the positive value the instrument faced up so we have V that is the vertical and we have H which is the distances so the reduced level of S will be the reduced level of P plus the vertical distance minus the height so that is a thousand plus 1.5 so plus 11.35 minus h which is the reading to the mid which was taken by the tachometer then the same we do for t so that is the reduced level for the axis p minus v minus h as you can see in the diagram so we 
and we use so that is a hundred thousand plus one point five minus V which is twenty eight point five two minus one point eight five so one point eight two zero so we get our reduced level as that and then we go to find the area of the triangle PTS so by having the diagram so we sketch we sketch where we find our values for T P and S and having all our sides given so by calculation so those are the horizontal distance of which we have we use the formula for finding area of non sides so without an angle so there we have s which is a half uh, the addition of a plus b plus c those are the sides and then that s we are going to equate it to our formula for the area so we'll have the s minus the value for a and s minus the value for b and s minus the value for c now we get that as our area now we go to find the angle for p uh, by equating it to a mathematical equation so the total area will be a will be is equals to a half a b sine theta and we get our answer as 38.38 so the same we have we can have a second formula which give us our the same results so we can equate to a second formula for finding the area and that also give us the same results so thanks for watching